Um, we're Travis and David, we're from Yokohama cohort number one. Um, our supervisor is Kim Cofino. Yeah. What intrigued you about taking Coattail? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you, David. Um, I was looking for more PD opportunities, and I'll take these off. And, um, and I didn't know much at all about information technology and communication in education. And uh, to tell you the truth, I was teetering a bit on whether to continue being as a teacher. So uh, fortunately, I learned a new skill and I got a new interest, and um, I'm really happy I did the coattail. What about you, David? What did you take? Yeah, good up? question. Uh, yeah, I was I was coming out of management. I, I just spent a year as uh, curriculum coordinator at a school, and I was getting back into the classroom at what I perceived to be a really good school. So I uh, I, I thought I had to upskill myself, or I wanted to come back into the classroom and kind of use technology uh, to make my instructional methods better so mm. that was one of the reasons I signed up for Coattail. Nice one. What about, did you have any um, prerequisite at knowledge of technology? Uh, a, a bit. Uh, uh, the good thing being in curriculum coordinator I got to see a lot of good practice in different right. classes so right. I, I, I saw some good things uh, and I kind of stole those from other teachers <laughs> but uh, definitely I think Coattail really helped me to yeah. uh, uh, to to do a lot more with mm. tech in my classrooms. Right. Um, so yeah I think it was good Great. for that. Much you, yeah. Um, look, I knew a bit about Google and I knew a bit about Apple products, but I didn't know them that well. I didn't know how to really enhance my teaching uh, using technology. Perhaps if we talk about the SAMA model, yeah. I was using it at times as a substitute or just to augment what yeah. I was doing rather than redefining. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, how about the how important were the fifteen credits to you? Were they um, important? Well, not really. Um, they were a sign of achievement, I guess. Um, I, I was interested in continuing on to do a, a master's, but I thought I'd rather do my master's in something a little bit more specific, I, I think, in educational leadership. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I guess it's a sign of achievement. It's a sign of um, being motivated to go through with something that took us a year and a half. Yep. What about you? What yeah, I think credits? actually the credits may help me out here with my Michigan teaching certificate because I, I have to, every five years, I have to take classes and... Uh, so I think when I go to renew my certificate, I think this uh, I need to renew it soon, and that's going to help because I uh, those 15 credits are going to help me uh, when I go to renew it. So, yeah. What about the um, assessments? The uh, there's five courses, and we had to do some sort of assessment at the end of each course. What did what, you share some of your thoughts about yeah. them, David? Good question. Yeah, I thought I thought it was good in the sense that it made me. Maybe usually I had to create some sort of big project I'm gonna do with my class and then uh, and and rock it out. So it, it was good in the sense that I know I had to come up with something to blog about to present. Um, so yeah, I thought the assessments were good. I thought they were good, to be honest. Yeah, I thought at times it was a bit challenging because uh, due to my other roles and mm -hmm. the focus of my school not always being uh, mm -hmm. always on or you know permitting technology. <laughs> so. Uh, I thought that was challenging at times, but mm. yeah, I thought it was good in a sense that it made me upskill and, and, and man up, so to speak. Nice one. Nice yeah. One. How about you? Yeah. Um, look, they were very manageable. Um, it wasn't. They weren't really brain benders or anything like that. Um, I thought they were good, good assessments. They were worthwhile. Um, some of them you could collaborate on, which is great for those people who enjoy collaboration and such, but yet some were, uh, you could do it individual, and that's more me, I like my solo creative work. Yeah. What do you think? Um, you can ask me too, what do you think about the availability of the instructor? Yeah. Oh, uh, it, without a doubt, Kim was super, well, I think but we can both agree on that, Kim yep. Fair is yep. um, an excellent yep. supervisor, she was timely in get, responding to our emails and such, um, she provided assistance and, and guidance, and also took us aside if we were drifting off, off track or the work that we were doing was not exactly, ooh, that's a good way of saying it, exactly where she wanted us to be at, I guess. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I, I really, I thought, uh, you know, her, you know, positive feedback was really important. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, you're right. We had to fire a quick email after her. Yeah. And she'd get back to you pretty soon, which yeah, is pretty, that's right. pretty nice and pretty important because, you know, it's not always like that. And I've done an online master's program and I know. Um, how much I, you know? How long I usually have to wait for email. So it was nice to have someone who um, who got back to you. And I thought, yeah, uh, she was available for questions when she presented down here. And we'd come down for those Tuesday sessions and mm. Saturday. She made herself approachable. Mm. So I felt like, if, yeah, she was she was definitely there for right. us uh, for questions and whatnot. Direction I feel. How do you think it's changed us as, as teachers? 
It's a good question. Uh, I think now I'm, 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 I like technology and I embed it more in my lessons. Um, but at the end of the day, I wonder if it has it changed. You know, I mean, uh, you know, now that I've finished Coattail, and mm. I have to be honest, I, I think maybe the first couple months after I finished Coattail, I kind of took a little bit of a tech reprieve mm. a bit because you know you do oh, yeah. a year and a half of that, and it's kind I of intense. I haven't blogged since November. Yeah, so I haven't blogged in a while. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I gotta change yeah. that. I want to change yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, blogging I haven't done, yeah. but um, yeah, I thought about it. But I just thought, uh, yeah, even my class. But yeah, I, it's a good question. How you know has it changed me? I think it has. It definitely has because I'm down here at these. I still come to tech things. I'm still interested in tech, yeah. and I'm um, I'm gonna go back and try and get more tech into my mm. school. And, mm. So yeah, it's it's definitely changed yeah. me. It's uh, it's it's got my career. I'm not just a grade one teacher. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. a grade one teacher who, who is known in school to. Love and utilize tech and yeah, Twitter, 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 Twitter man, <laughs> Twitter man, <laughs> Twitter man. <laughs> yeah. uh, How about you? Yeah, yeah it has. I, I think it has changed me. It's given me, re-energized me a bit. Um, uh, it's fabulous seeing uh, the students um, get get into it as well, and seeing their eyes when they create something with technology. It's just, it's brilliant. Um, but I'm still the same person I was two years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm Travis, and I'll always be what I what I'll be. Um, yeah, I could blog more, um, but uh, I love Twitter. I think Twitter's Twitter's probably the greatest yeah. thing. I've forgotten yeah. about Facebook a bit and just sticking with Twitter because I yeah. learn I learn a hell of a lot more on Twitter than I ever would. And it's a good micro blog. It's yeah. a fantastic micro blog. Yeah, isn't it's it? a change ideal. <laughs> change ideal. Yeah. At Travis Attis and at D Bullio. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I think we were going to talk to Dana on Twitter. Yeah, one yeah. time over Christmas. Break. I think so. Yeah. About yeah. We had a question about her book. Her book, book is on available on the Japanese yeah. iTunes. What's yeah. going on with that, Dana? Yeah. I don't she know. We got to fix that. Did she get back to us? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she didn't get back to us. She at least saw us questioning.